Brian Nadu has lived in Rhode Island his whole life and is now the face of the new Netflix show, Pressure Cooker. The show follows 11 chefs living in a home competing for $100,000. Unlike most cooking shows, there aren't judges, so the chefs must judge each other. Nadu sat down with me to talk about the show and what it's like to represent the Ocean State. Nadu and his wife own Cucina Rustica, a rustic but modern Italian restaurant in Cranston. He said this journey started when Netflix reached out to him, asking if he'd be interested in the show. He said the competition was cutthroat, but he learned a lot about himself. I got along with everybody in the house. There was never no, no problems or anything like that. But as far as like cooking next to these people and stuff like that, you, you know, you're like in the lines then. It's like a shock to him. He said that since the show aired last week, people on social media have been reaching out with support. Like I was crying the other day. It was crazy because people like in Brazil and like, they're like, oh, you're an inspiration. Don't worry about like how you did on the show. Well, I started doubting myself when I was there. You know what I mean? Because but like then like you have conversations. They're like, dude, you, you, like, you outbeat all these people to get here. So like one of my biggest takeaways was to just be a little more confident in, in what I do. So he said that he's fortunate to have been featured on the show and he can't wait to see how his restaurant will grow. I have a great um, regular uh, business um, avenue with customers. So I basically just want to just try to keep wowing them. The price of eggs have continued to rise in the past year. Stamp Egg Farms in Johnston said this is due to the avian influenza, a bird flu that has affected several farms in the United States. Stamp Farms spoke with me about the recent high demand for their eggs and the threat the avian influenza has not only to their farm, but to the price of eggs. Robert and Patricia Stamp run and own Stamp Egg Farms in Johnston, a small business that has been running since the 1930s. Patricia told me they normally receive around five calls a day regarding pricing, but she said this week it seems like everyone wants to know the price of their eggs. Several new faces in a, I would say probably 50 calls a day. <laughs> They said customers have told them multiple supermarkets in the area have been out of eggs on the shelves. Everyone's telling us we were a lot cheaper than a supermarket for the last couple of months. Robert said that many farms have been out of commission due to the outbreak, which caused a higher demand. And then after that, it takes you five months to depopulate, repopulate, and have your chicken start laying again. They said they've been able to keep up with the demand, but they hope the price of eggs will drop in the spring after farmers have recovered. Today is National Coquito Day, and I decided to sit down with the founders of Poppy's Coquito, an alcoholic drink founded by a Rhode Island native last April. Victor Regino, Luis Olmo, and Travis Escobar shared with me the history behind Coquito and the community they say it brings, not only to Rhode Island, but to all who share the beverage. Coquito is a traditional beverage that originated in Puerto Rico. Poppy's Coquito was developed in April after Regino's grandmother, Abuela Juana, passed down the recipe. I used to make it during the holidays uh, and gave it to friends and families and it just became such a big hit that we decided to make something out of it. So. We created a liquor brand called Poppy's Coquito. The brand distributes their own liquor, which they say helps them stand apart from other larger companies. It was tough at first, obviously being a small business, and there's a lot of huge distributors here in Rhode Island. So to get to uh, know the liquor stores and have a personal relationship means a lot to us. Escobar said that so far, many establishments have been supportive of them. We really care. We want to give back. We love Rhode Island. We choose Rhode Island. Um, we really have seen that throughout this journey with Poppy's Coquito. You can visit poppyscoquito.com for more information. We are here in Narragansett, Rhode Island to check out the swells of Hurricane Fiona. As you can see here behind me, the surfers are already in the water trying to catch these large waves. Down the street at Point Judith, surfers tell me waves have already reached 10 feet. And here at Narragansett Beach, they're expected to reach 8 feet, which is extremely large for Rhode Island. We came out here from Boston, Iowa, and Wisconsin, me and some of my friends, to catch these waves today. They're pretty good because of the storm coming in, uh, six to eight feet. The water is still super warm, like the wind will definitely get you. I've seen a couple of sets come through that were probably about six to eight feet, and then it's supposed to get a little bit bigger later today. But... Um, probably head high waves, and uh, the winds are just really strong, so it's... It's kind of killing some of them. Throughout the day, the waves have progressively gotten taller, and surfers tell me the peak for these waves, when they're the tallest, will be at around 6 p.m. Happy National Waffle Day. I am here at the Burgundian with... 
Shane Matlock, owner of the Burgundian, a.k.a. Mr. Waffle. I'm so excited to see your place. I really want to learn about the inspiration, and I really want to try a waffle. So I, I was inspired to create Burgundian based off of initially my time as a U.S. Army officer stationed on the border of France and Belgium. It was over there that I... I kind of learned this this cafe culture, this interplay between food, drink, and community, or, or what we call conviviality. It's this amazing French word about you know sharing food and drink in this very boisterous atmosphere. John, walk me through the preparation of four popular waffles. They're all made with special imported crystallized sugar that makes them perfectly sweet. Don't miss out on their event tonight from five to nine, where you can try these waffles and even some Belgian beer. I tried the soulmate and banana churro, and let me tell you, they were amazing. Thank you again to Burgundian for the amazing waffles and welcoming atmosphere. Come on over and celebrate the holiday. I'm here at the Biggie in Massachusetts, the biggest fair in New England. This fair has been around for a hundred years. Last year, over a million people attended. The fair features food and local vendors from all different states in New England. They have tons of food options for whatever you're craving, carnival rides, livestock shows, live performances, and shopping. Let's go check out some Rhode Island favorites and venture out to see the other states and what their local favorites are. When you think of Rhode Island, especially during the fall time, you think of the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. They had frisky fries, Dell's Lemonade, and Wright's Dairy Farm had maple milk, ice cream sandwiches, and many different cookies. The Massachusetts building had maple cotton candy, which I've never heard before, but it was amazing. Their local bees and many different types of honey. In typical Vermont fashion, they had wood carvings and Vermont cheese. You can come now through October 2nd to visit. Today is the first day of the four-day Newport International Boat Show. This is one of the biggest boat shows in the country, displaying many sail and power boats. The boat show has been running for 51 years now and is a must-see here in Newport. Let's go check out some boats. The event takes place at the Newport Yachting Center Marina right along the waterfront. The show is one of the biggest in-water events in the country, displaying many new boats as well as equipment and services spanning over 13 acres. Other than the boats in the water on land, you can find equipment for sale as well as instructional seminars and giveaways. Joseph Castellana is the president and CEO of Icon Yachts and took me aboard Collegido for an exclusive experience. Joe tells me that many different parts of the boat are sourced from mountains in Sicily as they take pride in their Italian work. Come on down to Newport to celebrate this event. It's something you don't want to miss and it's available until September 18th.